Hello, welcome to another episode of Savage in the Wild. Woohoo! I'm in the Appalachian Mountains enjoying an incredible wild plant hike with Doug Elliott and Frank Cook laying here among the trilliums. There are so many amazing plants here in the springtime, and uh, you're going to learn a bunch of them today. My name's Doug Elliott, and we're in the National Forest here in North Carolina, mm -hmm. and this is called Bluff Mountain. It's an area that was saved from a clear cut by mm -hmm. citizen action, by people really saying they cared about this area. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, it's stayed as a natural area and has not been cut. Mm -hmm. A beautiful cove hardwood forest. Mm -hmm. so a lot of it's north facing, so it stays moist most of the year. And so the plants are, you know, the plants under the trees are just their big, there's a solid canopy of trees. And the plants are just, you know, two or three feet thick just under there. And many of them are edible or medicinal or, mm -hmm. or at least beautiful. Mm -hmm. Walking and walking and walking. These mountains are incredible. Sometime my mountain buddy Theron, he would call it leather bridges. Or water lakes. And, um, and uh, it's hydrophilum, which just means loves water. And it does grow in moist places. And it's in the Baraginaceae family, you know, and so it's a kind of a fairly mild family. And, um, and it works as a nice green. How do you eat it, Doug? Well, you just, um, you just cook it as a green. Cook it? Yep. All right. You can eat it raw, too. Now, what do you got? You got a water leaf water. bag? Yeah. You got only water leaf? There's, there's this little sweetheart here. It's now putting up blooms. But you see, this is the winter leaf. This is what one of the spring ephemerals. You'll notice it has four petals. In fact, we could just pass some leaves around. And, um, and and taste these leaves. See if it doesn't tell you a lot about it. What is that called? Well, I figured you'd get to that. It's called, <laughs> tooth, it's called tooth work. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but you can eat these too. They're kind of mild and pleasant. Um, that oh, that one's strong called enough for us. Um, the Celia. Uh, Virginia nightshade. But saxifrage means rock breaker, and because a lot of them actually do grow like right out of the rock crevices, and they help break up the rock. We're way down south. Where I was born, we raised some greasy greens and corn, with sweet potatoes and black-eyed peas, green tomato, mama now pecan trees. They sure are good. I just eat them all if I could. It's often easy, good and greasy. How I love those. I'm a Mississippi man. A New Orleans, a crazy about them greasy greens. If I don't get them three times a day, I'll get mad. I'll just walk away. They sure are good. I just eat them all if I could. It's soft and easy, good and greasy. How I love them. Lima beans, or you can cook the sugar I never seen. But when you fix up your table for me, don't cook nothing but them greasy greens. They sure are good. I just eat them all if I could. It's often easy, good and greasy. How I love those. some greens up on your shelf you must be saving them for somebody else i hear some greens falling in that pot how much greasy greens have you got so meaningful was our meal in the woods yesterday that we all gathered and um the community we had it was just fantastic mm -hmm. How long have you been teaching people about wild, uh, about the wild plants? Well, I guess since I've been a little kid. Mm. I just like to find any way we can use wild plants, any way to sort of increase our connection with nature. Mm -hmm. And there's some plants you can eat them, some plants will make medicine, some will kill you in deader than a hammer, some of them you can make string and rope out of, some of them you can make baskets out of. Mm. <laughs> My favorite thing I learned this weekend was um, 
just uh, how um, other people like plants so much and how how wonderful it is to be around people who understand um, how important plants are and, and how, how to know plants on so many different levels um, spiritually and as well as medicinally and the food value and, and uh, the interconnectedness and uh, I just, uh, just love coming here and Doug is great and Frank and I think they're great teachers and we all need more of this as much as possible. I love those Can't get enough of them Makes your lips smack a week after you eat them You can leave your jelly roll home, honey Give me some more of them